So, so in that two weeks, there were a lot of preparation that took place, and and I'm going to explain them to you what exactly happened, um, what the school did, and what I did, what was my role in in that space, and I will say the details. But the three details. So it was called VLE, which means virtual, 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 virtual learning experience, <laughs> visual learning experience. Is it virtual or virtual? I don't know. You you know. Yeah. So you will continue with it. So um, we spent two weeks getting ready and how to migrate. We we looked at apps that we're going to use to get in polishing all the skills because as I mentioned technology is used daily in my school. Wow. One tall. I would say I would say a lot of one tall. If you don't get it, one tall means you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> but that is that's it's in it's in Zulu. Zulu. I think Zulu Tswana just in between mixing all one of the totally dots. But one tall. Sure. And we spent time. So, so um, I would say it was, it was, it was my first time teaching teachers, and that was quite experience. It was a bittersweet experience, because um, I was excited. I was going to teach teachers because I've been looking forward to train teachers and how it feels. Looking forward to that, quite, very excited. But the bitter side is, man, I was nervous. <laughs> I was, <laughs> was so nervous. Because the thing is, what made me nervous is, you don't just teach teachers. You're teaching different teachers. You're teaching teachers who are extremely experienced. That's one. Two. You're teaching teachers who taught almost all over in the world, in the world, in their world. And I guess it's normal to say this is me. Like you get that self-awareness, awareness where you where you standing, where's the next person standing, and how you're going to approach the situation. I think it's, it's quite normal, but it's daunting, and I, and I love being nervous. I love I love being nervous. I love challenges, but I went in, and it was a bittersweet experience. So, in each sections, four four sections of the school, like your um, foundation phase, your junior school, your senior, and your FET. Just like that. So they chose in each band they chose tech champions. Tech champions. Those are people that are going to lead in in the process of polishing the skills. In the process of reminding people what skills to, what what apps to use in the process of Going out there and it's and, it, and do the research and say this is what we can use and can work good for us. So I was one of tech champions and it was great. I think it was four of us. All of us were chosen carefully, carefully chosen. I'm told. So we're young. And loved technology and loved exploring and. Patients, they can listen, they can they can spend time with the teachers. So that's what happened. And our role was to do that and again was to support and advise the teachers on apps. So we look we basically look at apps to to conduct our online teaching, to have a cloud classroom, to do assessments, um, to do collaboration and, and to record lessons and discussions. So we looked at those apps. And mainly those apps were your Google Classroom, your Google Meet, your Prezi, your PowerPoint, how to convert your presentation into um, a video, 
to a voice over, we looked at Loom, and we also looked at um, Google Forms. We looked at um, Flipgrid, we look at Wakalet, we look at Class Dojo, just polish those skills so we can just be on point with those. And I would say it was an amazing experience, I loved it, and I grew a lot from that. So as a tech um, champion, I've, I've, I've learned a lot about my, myself. Because in, in most cases, whatever experience that happened, I decide to, to be a, a good or bad experience as a person, as a teacher, as a father, as uncle or whatever. Even when I have a conversation with five year old, I decide to learn more about myself than the next person. So I can be a better person in, in the next content or in the future. I don't look at people, what they do and why they fail to do that. I'm looking at myself and saying, what, what is that one thing I'm not doing right? Or what is the one thing I can change to make that person understand? And, and it was more same thing here. And I've learned quite a lot, lots. So I've learned, I've learned a few things about myself. I've learned, I've learned grit, I've learned to be honest, extremely honest. I've learned patience, it's, it's needed. You cannot be a teacher and have no patience. I've learned to complement timing achievements and the big achievements. I've learned, learned kindness. I've learned, I've learned the most important skill to communicate effectively. Not just effectively, but with clarity. So this was our pre-COVID teaching preparations. And this was awesome. Big up to the manage the managers. Big up to um, my headmaster, and big up to the teachers as well. Big up to parents. Big up to children. It was an amazing experience. It was it was it was difficult. The two weeks was difficult, but it was was an experience that we need, and we one of the people that would have that experience in the world. So for that, we learned a lot as a people, as teachers, as whoever was involved, all the stakeholders, including the board. Guys, especially to the teachers, I'm a teacher, so I'm speaking to the teachers. To you, teachers, the hard-working teachers, we see you, we know you, and we love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Peace.